Hello everyone and welcome back to CRGTR channel. As you see on the screen right now that I'm going to make a new tutorial that's your hair tutorial on Medibank Pen Pro. And today I'm not making a script so maybe I will talk randomly. So why I'm not making the script is totally because that I'm lazy. Why I'm lazy is because raining outside right now and I feel like a cat that I just want to go to sleep but I actually want to make this tutorial because I found some reference on internet and I think that hairstyle is kind of cute with the bangs so that's why I decided to make a tutorial about this so you can see and you understand uh, what I'm going to do right now that I'm drawing the hair yeah drawing the head you must have the head first and then you will draw a big strand and then you go into the detail just what you see in the screen that I did with that then I lower the opacity already here about it her time uh, and create a new layer then I was making the line art what about this uh, video actually that I drew about this about a week ago but now I'm just voice over it because I don't have time really I think that it just become lazy yeah so now I will go the details for this one I will draw every single small strand here if you want it to look more details you can use small brush to draw it and then you use eraser to erase the band go to the shaft that you create at first like this you can see that I decrease the size of the brush here to make it look more detailed and thinness so just continue with your work carefully to draw every single strand here to make it look details okay so now will be the speed video so you don't have to waste the time to watching these boring things Okay, so you can see that I'm using the eraser to erase some part in here that's from the head. The head is another layer and the hair is in another layer. So that's why I can use the eraser to erase the part of the head that will be covered by the hair. After you're doing that, create a new layer and it will be uh, about, uh, below, uh, under on the line work. And I use a color here to fill on the part. But you can see that because of the hair here, if I use the bucket tool here, it will fill all over the face. Um, kind of like put some chocolate on. Yeah. So now I will use the brush to draw every single strand here. Does it depend on your choice that you can draw like this to make have the soft feeling, or you just too lazy like me, so you can just draw the line and going like this. Whatever you do, it will give you the good result. But the more carefully you work, will give you a better result. That's it. And after that, after I fill on the place and connect on the line together, I use the bucket tool to fill it. Make sure that there is not any blank space so you can fill it like this. When you're done the fill work and there's still blank space, you better fill all of them by using brush and you know that we are going to make the base color so just skip this step also Okay, so now when you are done the base color, you want the bang is not look so stiff like this, right? So I will choose the airbrush and choose transparent box so I can drag outside to inside like this to give the transparent look of the hair. So if you think that you kind of overdid that, you will choose those airbrush and uh, decrease the size or increase the size, it depends on you guys. 
so you can paint it again here yeah uh, you see that later uh, when you put the skin color on it will give you a great result and just keep doing this step until you feel satisfied about the result and yeah you see that I keep doing that hmm. okay so now I will create a new layer before I do that, I think that hair will not the color that I want to, so I will use here star rotation to uh, fix the color. And I chose green hair because I didn't draw and paint any green hair before, so I will make a try about this. I want to do a kind of yellow, uh, not, not really green, just have a little bit yellow, that would be great. And now of course, new layer, that will be clipping. Uh, at this part, I kind of don't know what I'm going to do. Yeah. Um, so I choose blending mode. Is overlay. Why oh, did that? I don't know. I forgot about this. Oh, okay. Oh, I remember about this one. I intend to use the overlay here to change the color, but uh, sadly that the gradient in Medibank don't have the transparent uh, the same as in the Photoshop. So that's why I changed this one and find another blending mode. And okay, multiply is going to be the good blending here. And now I just need to pick another color. Uh, okay, blue is great. So if you want to know how I pick the color for the character, you can see that what I did right now, I just try to pick another color until I feel satisfied with this, yeah. Because I'm a self-taught artist, so maybe I don't have much knowledge about the basic things Ta-da, like this. And now of course, uh, the same layer in here, I will create the shadow. Um, so better that you will follow the strand of the hair and um, drawing the shadow inside here at the back of course will, should be the darkest and you see that there's something white inside the hair and I will try to not make it white anymore I kind of hate that one I don't want to see that and why it happened because the brush I learned is watercolor brush and it gives you the soft feeling but actually it's not thick enough so it's always give you the white here if you are not using a uh, few tone but you're using the uh, bucket tone oops wrong layers okay that's no that is good Okay, you see that because I'm using multiply, so now I confuse uh, which color should I pick. So if you are a pro, uh, you shouldn't do like me. You better make a palette uh, the same as you can see at my right hand. Uh, um, no, this is on the left on the screen. Yeah, you can see that the palette box in here. That is the color you will pick, and later you will can pick it again exactly like the color you already chose. That's it. Where well, to access the palette box? Just simply go to the menu. Yeah, uh, window or anything here. I already make a video about this, so just check around on the menu here and you can see the palette or if you can find it you can watch a video in my channel yeah that's it so now I will use the watercolor brush here to draw all the place in here to find the shadow yeah imagine that there will be the sun side at the top here so something that cover uh, will be under and cannot read the light it will be the shadow and the best in here because it's kind of curvy so it will be dark at the bottom and there will be the shining place how to create a shining here because this has like already kind of light so I just use the transparent spot to erase some part uh, that will not in the shadow yeah because I'm painting shadows and I will just erase it and it will create highlight Oh, I'm not talking anything weird right now. And just continue to use 
the brush in here to erase every single stroke and then uh, go to back to the color and use some, the small size and create every single stroke for the shadow actually at this part I don't know what I'm going to do I just keep doing as I always doing yeah create a shadow that's it when you understand about the light and shadow you will know what you do at this step just your body is moving Okay, when you're done on the step that create highlight and shadow, if there's some place that's too dark, you can put more darker color on this one to create a shadow. Now it will be another layer, the layer 7, and I will choose blending is lighten to make some trick for your eyes. Yeah, it's your trick. And choose a bright color. You want to have a shine light, you will choose the uh, yellow here to put the feeling inside here but it is I have another trick in here because you see that the effect is not good so that's why I will put this layer on the top and it's also affected to the light work and make like the character is sit, sitting or standing under the sunlight I don't know what it is but you know that the tricks here that will have a little bit things that not good about this that if you put it in the background it will give you a weird effect on the background outside here so just think about it uh, when you did one okay so that's it all about the tutorial but i don't think this is about the tutorial anymore i just kind of talking something randomly but uh, anyway thank you for watching this video and see you next time.